Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and today we are gonna satisfy another request. We will see what is a technological DXF. We will analyze the example that I have prepared in order to have a better understanding on how to get there. And we will see also how to get uh, informations in case we forgot something or we have never been trained on it. Let's immediately start. So I'm gonna import my example file, which is uh, this one, is a side with the tokik. As you can see, if you don't change anything, it's gonna come in uh, as uh, just as a simple 2D drawing. And uh, well, from here, eventually you can start and apply all the machining. Just uh, to quickly see if you want to import a DXF like this one and start to apply the machining manually, you will have to select everything, right click, create the panel from uh, the finished geometries. Now I have my panel. Once you have the panels, and all the geometries in it, you can start selecting things around, go in machining operation and apply the machining. So diameter, if you want to specify the diameter, otherwise you can go automatic and it's gonna take it from the geometry. So we need just to specify the depth, confirm, the same thing for the other 8 millimeter holes eventually. And uh, uh, for the external is the same thing. So uh, external or actually the grooving. As long as we have geometries, we can select it. Go in machining operation, select the milling. Select the tool. Now my settings are for uh, actually a true cut uh, all around. So. I will have to change something, quarter inch down. It's gonna, not gonna be all the way through, but maybe, I don't know, 10 millimeter deep. Central correction. And no initial or final extension. And then, um, I mean, and we keep, uh, we can keep going. But uh, let's uh, analyze a little bit more this file. I'm gonna import it again. So files, all formats available, double click on it. And here it is again. So what we can see here that if I go into layers, I can see that there are weird names here and really long. This is gonna depend upon how many things you, you need to specify for that specific layer. Let me explain better. So whenever we want to create a, a DXF like this one, the layer name always has to start from uh, the key TCH. So the software can understand that this is gonna be a technological DXF. Then what we see next, we see W. W is uh, uh, the phase where the machining or the type of operation has to be applied. So zero is the top face of my panel. Then uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, that are the four sides. And the fifth one is the bottom of the panel. Then what there is next, B. So B allows us to specify which machining operation has to be applied. So B8 uh, are the panel uh, characteristics. So thickness, of course, uh, the length, width, 
and uh, eventually um, we can specify on that layer also the origin and so on then b1 b1 is uh, the milling b2 is boring and so and then i will show you eventually where to get all these informations then tcd is the tool code in this case uh, uh, the alphanumeric character has to be specified between uh, the dollar signs tc is the tool uh, radius correction then uh, d is the depth pt is to enable the through cut or not then it is uh, the leading type ot is the lead out type and if these are selected you can also specify the angle so the angle for the lead in and the angle for the lead out like i said there are a lot of parameters uh, a lot of things you you can specify in these layer names and uh, so far we haven't seen really what this file can do for us so let me open a new program i mean create a new program import the same file but this time i'm gonna use the technological dxf file import so double click on the same file and as you can see this time is gonna appear not only as a 2d dxf i mean the a 2d dimensional drawing but it's gonna come in also with a proper thickness all the machining applied we can optimize the program and play the simulation it's ready to go and with a file like this one you can uh, actually use it directly uh, into the work list without even open it here in bsolid so i could go eventually here work list let me create a new work list import the file is not a b solid file you can select all types or or eventually dxf and as you can see now is in the work list if i enable the preview of the program here it is so it is at all effects a program for the machine even if it's a dxf now where to get all the information we need uh, in order to create a file like this one remember you always have uh, the the guide here for b solid so you can click it's gonna open up all the menu you can search here for dxf the fee Nation. and we can see there are different types there is uh, the cni format which is basically the same thing uh, it's just uh, i think the bsc works is better because you can specify more parameters the the cni is a little bit more limited like i was saying the bsc works so you can click here here you see some of the info and then remember that uh, when you see a, a text in uh, this uh, color is a link so it's gonna bring me somewhere else so don't be scared uh, about oh my gosh <laughs> there is nothing written basically you know it's just one page uh no try to click eventually here and uh, you know read uh, eventually what are the info and uh, more specifically we will find all the keys here
so parameters so mn is the key for a macro name if you want to call a macro then uh, like uh, I told you before w is for uh, the, the face selection then uh, uh, the type of work, type of machining, the B and so on so here you have all the keys you can uh, apply on a technological DXF and is a long list but going back to the file another really interesting thing you can do with a file like this one like I said if the file uh, you know for sure is okay you can run it directly on the machine or uh, remember that uh, directly from the work list you also have the possibility to calculate eventually collisions not only the execution time for the program but, but also collisions so if you are not sure about uh, a program uh, I would recommend you to click on that before uh, start the program or start the work list and if the program is ok you will receive a green check mark here otherwise for any issue with it it can be a missing tool or it can be a collision or it can be you know it may be different things instead of the green check mark you will get an orange triangle with an exclamation point so in that case you have to go look the simulation to better understand what's wrong with the program but going back to the CAD CAM like I was saying, instead, if you want to check the DXF and open it, you can uh, import the file using the technological DXF. So it's going to recognize also the machine in operation and the panel. And at this point, is as you can see from uh, the right panel, is uh, already a program and it can be edited eventually you can uh, double click on the machine in operation if you if you want to move the coordinates you can if you want to change the depth you can so I think that is another interesting feature one more thing to say about the technological DXF is that uh, we can uh, find all the keys also over here if we go uh, use the navigator to change environment we go in general setting and here we can see uh, the DXF definition here first of all you can select if you want to work with the BS works DXF or the CNI so you can select one or the other and uh, the keys you will see the keys here also work uh, blah 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 thickness uh, direction to class uh, you know you can specify pretty much uh, all you need uh, also the type of leading lead out uh, the tool correction if the tool uh, has to stay on the outside or the inside of the geometry so uh, you have all the keys and they are customizable so if uh, I want to change let's say the, the descent speed instead of uh, uh, call it uh, with the key DES I want to change it and use something else I can just uh, you know type in something different Uh, dash let's say s 
so the, the send speed because it, 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 remem it reminds me uh, that parameter a little bit better you know you can confirm it pressing enter on your keyboard and save it we usually don't recommend to change the keys though for only one reason because uh, all the BSC uh, technicians uh, and uh, the guys on the phone support know our uh, code, our keys and so it's gonna be uh, much easier for us to help you in case of uh, you are having uh, problems figure it out otherwise i mean uh, not that is impossible uh, but uh, it will take probably longer to to find out what is going on because we will have to come over here see what have you what are you using for uh, this specific parameter then go back to the drawing and so it's gonna be just longer that's the reason why usually we recommend to keep uh, our format instead of, of changing it So I hope this was helpful, thank you for watching and see you at the next video.